Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I am cutting my hair. These seem to be my most popular videos, so I thought I would film my haircut today because I kind of want to go a little bit shorter than I usually go. So I've just washed my hair and I thought I would show you the products I've been going between. My hair tends to get very bored um, of the same product, so I have two of my favourites that I keep reaching back to now. The first one is the Living Proof Anti-Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. These are just insane. Like, if I could have endless supplies of these, I would. <laughs> they are a little bit more on the pricey side, but if you're willing to spend a little bit more on your hair care, then highly, highly recommend these. And then the ones that I keep going back to are the Tresemme Biotin Plus Repair 7 Shampoo and Conditioner. Still use these love them so much i just i think my hair's a bit addicted to them <laughs> but i particularly like to use these if i've had loads of hairspray in my hair or if i've got loads of product build up so in previous times i've had something to catch the hair underneath me but i think today i'm just going to hoover it up <laughs> afterwards so you'll obviously need some scissors and i've got a comb and a brush this one's from tangle teaser it's my favorite favorite brush in the world and then you'll also need some hair ties um and that's pretty much it. I'm going to brush through my hair and then I'm going to find my centre part. So the length of my hair at the moment comes to about here and I kind of want it to go to about here. Um, so I guess not too much off but I think it will be a noticeable difference. Depending on if you want a scooped back or a straight back or <laughs> a high back that goes into longer front bits. It depends on where you tie the ponytail. So if I want a nice scooped back, then I will tie my hair at the front like this and then chop it here. And then that will give me a nice scoop at the back. But if I want it to be straight at the back, then I take all my hair back and I would tie it in a low ponytail and chop it at the back. And then I've never really done a really high low um, look before so I guess I'd just probably start by tying it in a low ponytail maybe bringing these bits down a bit further so they're a bit longer and then tie it but today I'm just going to start with a straight back cut so I am just brushing it all into a low ponytail and now I've got my ponytail and I'm going to add another hair tie a lot lower down so I'm going to try and keep it even going down so the length i want is kind of just by my armpits so i'm going to just chop about i think it was about two inches so then we have the ponytail and i'm going to take it over my head and just flatten out the top bit a little bit and then bring it round still pinched so i kind of know where the flat side is and then i'm just going to chop And then you can take out the ponytail and keep checking the length to see if it's how you want it. I think I want to go a tiny bit shorter. So just again, tie at the top, back ponytail, and follow it down to the bottom of the ponytail. And I'm just going to run my fingers through the ends, bring it round to the front, and then just chop off a little bit more. So now that I've taken the main length away, I'm just going to split my hair in half and just sort of check everything's looking a bit even. And then I'm going to use my comb and just sort of bring it all down so I can see the length. Straighten it off a little bit and chop into it. I'm then going to add some really rough, kind of long layers in. So for this, I just take kind of a chunk from the front and pull it up and then chop into it. And then I just carry it on around the top of my head, just lifting it up and cutting straight up and then cutting into it. Okay, and then I have these bits at the front that are a bit shorter anyway. 
and I will show you guys how I trim those and make sure that even at the top and so the first thing I do with this front section is just take it down and I take about I take it so it's just sort of like an inch under my chin and then I trim that straight off and then with my scissors I kind of just really gently taper it down and then I also slightly chop into them a bit like this just to sort of make them look a bit feathery <laughs> hair's now dry and I'm going to use my straighteners and show you guys how I do my curls like beachy wave curls with my straighteners these are the Remington shine therapy hair straighteners I've literally used these for years I think this is the second pair I bought um, but so good I'm just gonna make sure the front bits are reasonably blended together because there's some long bits creeping through and then with these curls, I just basically want to make sure the bit right next to my head is really straight and the bit at the ends is really straight. I just start by kind of straightening at the roots. And then I will take a section and just flip it back. And then before I get to the end, I just straighten it out. And I do them all going the same direction. So I just did some back combing and I used a Quick Tease um, Redken product and then I'm going to use the Tresemme hairspray just to set those curls. So there we go, I also love using this at the moment, this is the Redken um, Wind Blow 05 and it's just like a dry texture spray. So yeah, that's it. That's how I chop my hair. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you all in my next video. I'll just give you a quick look at the back. That's what it looks like. So yeah.